Whatever you say, officer. <laughs> Don't call me officer. I mean it in a respectful way. Are you taking the mic? I'm not. Every time I look at you now, I think of you like getting stuck into some scally robber. I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a hairdresser, right? I mean, what excitement do I get? Besides, I think it's a dead cool thing to do. I'm being serious. I think you're dead brave. I mean, I've been out on Friday nights in Manchester and it can be quite scary. Oh, well, it's just something I've always wanted to do. What, beat people up? <laughs> I'm joking. Beat you up. So, what time are we meeting? Don't know. What time's the film start? Uh, half three, I think, but I have to go to my grand's first, so shall I meet you there? Yeah, OK. Well, I'll meet you by popcorn at three. All right. She doesn't fancy you. Hey, what's your opinion? David, I'm your friend. Just give me my change. What kind of a friend would I be if I didn't stop you making a fool of yourself? And why would I be doing that? She's too old for you. You're jealous. Oh, don't make me laugh. Well, why else have you come all OCD about my love life all of a sudden? Your love life is non-existent. So why am I taking Mel to go see a film this afternoon? Well, she must really like the film. No, she really likes me. We're going together. We're an item. Do you get it? In your dreams. Right, I think you and me need to talk. A crush? Yeah, all right, so you like him. You know, you fancy him. No. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, I hate him. Hmm. I think he's a complete idiot. Well, me thinks the lady doth protest too much. And me thinks the man doth talk rubbish. And why are you saying doth? <sighs> you're changing the subject. You're dead right, cos I know what you're trying to do and it's cringing me out. OK, I'll back off. But, you know, for what it's worth, I think he's an idiot as well. You could do better. Oh, where have you moved the crisps? Over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I really shouldn't not so near to the wedding. Oh, you've got a gorgeous figure. Not for much longer if I keep eating these. How do you think I feel? I've got to work with them. And the biscuits. And the cakes. Mm. Hey, what about your brother and Mel Morton? Mm. They're going out with each other. In his dreams. No, he's taking her out to the pictures. He just told me. Did he now? Hiya, Mel. Hiya. Mel, have you got a minute? Yeah, why, what do you want? Actually, no, it doesn't matter. What does it matter? Nothing. What are you talking about? Look, if you and him make each other happy, then who am I to judge? And I'm sure that you're a smart enough girl to be able to handle the situation. Is that about David? Can I ask? And please tell me to keep my nose out if you want, but... What is the story with you and him? There's no story, is a mate? It's just a mate? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. But you are going to the pictures with him, yeah? Well, yeah, but it's not a date or anything. Mm. It's just he's going around telling everybody... Oh, no, that's not fair. Not everybody, just one or two people, that you're going out with him. <laughs> I think he's got a bit of a thing for you. It's really weird. I mean, we have a laugh, but that's it. Well, you mustn't blame yourself. It's, it's not your fault. He just... He can't help the way he is. Bragging about going out with someone when he's not? Well, it's, it's not as simple as that. What do you mean? Ooh! What's happening? I'm just trying to talk to Sarah. Can you just leave us alone? Right. I feel awful, because he's my brother. I should be protecting him. From what? Is this some kind of fantasy? No! He is a nice lad underneath. But... Well, he just develops these obsessions over women that are just totally out of his league. Really? Like, you know Maria, who I work with? Yeah. He followed her around for months like a puppy. Months? Yeah, things got pretty ugly when she gave him the knockback. Then there was Tracy. Tracy who? Who used to live here. The murderer? Oh, well, yeah, he writes to her in prison. No way. See, I think he tried to blackmail her into having sex with him. I think he's still a virgin and that's part of the problem. Maybe if the right girl came along. 
I mean, you do like him, don't you? Not like that, no way. But maybe you could help him sort his head out. I don't fancy him. If he's read something else into the situation, then he's more of a loon than you're making him oh. out to be. Feels like history repeating itself. I can't believe this. I don't want to go out with him. Well, if that's how you feel, you need to nip it in the bud. Why me? I'm not saying anything. Because the longer you leave it, the harder it's going to be. I'm not going anywhere near him. Well, just let him down gently, eh? He's had a lot of rejection, and I don't know how much more of it he can take. <laughs> I just wanted to be my friend. Didn't realise he was stalking me. Chill out, just fancies you. Not from what Sarah says. He's a right little psycho. She said that? Listen, Dumbo, she was trying to protect him. But I'll be warned, I could tell. Give over, he's harmless. I've oh, egged him on, Anna. Went for a drink with him. I've agreed to go to the pictures. Yeah, and maybe when you get there, you'd have already bought two tickets for the back row. And there'll be a thin film of sweat across his forehead as he smiles at you. Ew. <laughs> you don't think you want to go with him now, do you? Hey, he might be a nutter. Can't stand him up. I'm not standing him up, because we're not going on a date. Except in his head. All I'm doing is changing my plans, staying in, not telling him. You coward. Yeah, I know, but at least don't get the message. Hiya, Mel. Uh, it's me. I just wondered what's going on, you know, where you are. Uh, could you give us a call back? All right. It's Mel in. No, uh, I haven't seen her all day, have I? Right, well, when you see her, can you give her this? Right. Well, not eating that. He's probably gobbed in it. I knew you were in. Do you know how many messages he's left on my phone? Yes, because you were supposed to meet the lad. Six. That is not normal. He's got a crush on you, that's all. And you're not interested. So you better tell him. David. Don't talk to me. OK, just thought, you know, my big sis might be able to help. Was the film not very good? You did go to the pictures this afternoon, didn't you? How do you know? Who was he you went with? Your girlfriend, wasn't it? Mel. Oh, no, sorry, you don't actually have a girlfriend. You just pretend you do. What, has she been round here? No. I've been round there. Why? What have you done? I woke up this morning and I thought, I know, I'll pretend to be David for the day, see what it's like. What have you done, Sarah? What have you said to her? So, instead of going round being my usual happy-go-lucky self, I spent the day being selfish and spiteful like you spend every day of your life. If you've ruined my chances with Mel... Chances, please, David, don't make me laugh. She was never interested in you. It was in your head. So when Amber tells me that you're going around bragging about taking her to the pictures, oh, I couldn't resist. I just had to go around there. You nasty, twisted. Oh, and I, uh, I filled her in on a few details of your previous relationships while I was there. Yeah, I was pretty vile. Oh, and I'm only telling you this now after she stood you up. And do you know the worst thing? I really enjoyed it. I got a kick out of being you. So you better watch it, David, because I could get used to it. Next on ITV One. When I first saw Wasp Water, I was overwhelmed. You really do feel at peace. About 50 minutes beyond that, it's my house. There's gallons of history lying around here. Britain's favourite view. 
Whilst over on ITV4, Quatermass meets a colleague who may be able to help solve a puzzling mystery.